Hello and welcome to another episode of Yokai Footy Shorts. My name is Megan Waters and brother Andy Cracker. I have FOMO. We missed out on an epic weekend of football in Adelaide. Gather round 2.0. What a weekend that was. Sis, how good was it? Uh, unfortunately, as you mentioned, we couldn't get there hopefully next year. But we did get one souvenir. How good is this shirt from Pitchinjara and Yakinjara? Ah, uh, just Elizabeth Close, absolutely outstanding. So a nice little souvenir from Gather Round 2.0. Indeed, and I will be booking my flights for next year already, that is for sure. It all started on Thursday night with the Melbourne Football Club getting up against the Adelaide Crows and then ended on Sunday. The Pies just getting up over the Hawthorne Football Club in what was a nail-biter of a finish. The Jack Guinea Cup, what a good game of football this ended up being. And I must say, a nice bit of hope for Hawthorne to, to see how they performed in the end. 100% Megzi, and that was always going to happen. Jack Genevan drawing a free kick in his forward 50 and kicking a goal and just letting his ex-teammates know about it. But the Pies were up by 38 points. They were lucky, lucky to be able to win by the four points, but great, as you spoke about, um, effort from the Hawkers. Indeed, and it was good to see this last little uh, sweet moment between two very good friends indeed. There was a little bit of rough and tumble there. But another great moment is the fact that half the gang was back together. CJ and DJ were at that game. They both called the game for nerves. We're going to take a quick look. Elliot's going to fly! Elliot! <laughs> Elliot just flew for that. Pull him early, Carol White. That's still 50, Jono. It's That's soft, 50. but it's 50. There's about five of them they've missed. Typical DJ behaviour there. It's always good to see him getting up and about. You can catch uh, myself, CJ and Andy on NERS calling the game coming up on Friday night. The Essendon versus uh, the Western Bulldogs at Marvel Stadium. So make sure you tune in via the AFL live app for that one. Brother, I want to talk to you about the Carlton and the Frio game. What a brilliant game of football that was soured by quite a controversial finish. It was a Brilliant game of football. I really enjoyed watching this one. Both teams head to head, both uh, at the pointy end of the ladder, and um, you know they, their brand of footy was outstanding. So, but he spoke about the last one minute twenty and came down to this last decision of the game, and uh, very controversial one. What do you think about all this conversation around the captain's challenge? I rate it, Megzi. I like it. I'd like to see it come into play. I think, especially when you've got five or six teammates adamant that the ball was touched. Yeah, I think it might have been touched by Sarong and then obviously off Aisha's um, right shoulder. So. When you've got your teammates to be able to say that, I think the captain should have the opportunity to say, well, let's review that and make sure we get that right. Does it slow the game down a little bit too much, though, do you think? Yes, it could, Megzi, but then you think about it, if it happens in a final, and especially a grand final, there's no tomorrow. It, during the season, yes, you can play the next week. Yep, you're disappointed that you got the call wrong or the umpire's got the call wrong, but then you'd rather um, them take a little bit extra time than Andrew Dillon or the AFL coming out, putting their hand up and saying, well, we got that wrong. Um, I don't think that's good enough with the technology we have at our disposal. The arc, the, um, you know, the goal kicking review came into effect because of that. So I think we've got an opportunity for those instances to get it right. Yes, indeed. Look, I want to take a quick moment to give a bit of a shout out to Tyson Stengel now because he was brilliant at the weekend against the Western Bulldogs. 2022 All-Australian and back to his Back to his best, really, here. Kicked three goals in the third term. What did you make of it, brother? Yeah, I liked his game. Absolutely darting around the forward line for the Cats and 13 disposals, six score involvements and hit the scoreboard, you know, as you spoke about. So he's an absolute star. Great to see him at his back in form. And also Shea Bolton as well. Um, the, the Tigers didn't get the result, but Shea kicking four goals and had an outstanding game. Great to see. We love to support our brother boys here at Yokai Footy, which is why this week's Yokai moment goes to Isaac Rankin, a very different Isaac Rankin than we're used to seeing. We normally see him with a ball in his hand, but this time we're seeing him with a guitar. So let's take a listen. It's mine is yours to leave or take. It's mine is yours to make your own. He's an absolute star. We love what he's able to do on the footy field, but um, it's a great talent he has off the field as well, Megzi. Indeed, I yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing a lot more Isaac Rankin with a guitar in his hands. What a gorgeous voice he has. Indeed, that is it from us at Yokai Footy Shorts for another week. We will be back to recap all of round five next week, so we will see you then. Yorkeye.